Hello everyone in this video, let us create a scripted custom field to display the number of comments. Now it has been a while since we talked about uh, scripted fields using a script runner for Jira. So today I'll thought uh, so, so today I thought I'll probably do something simple but it can be useful and I think I hope it will give you an idea about uh, how to uh, work with scripted custom fields and uh, we will of course uh, take a look at other examples uh, in uh, other in maybe future videos so what i want to do today is i want to create maybe a field a simple field it could be just uh, a number field where i want to display the number of comments on uh, on the issue it could be a number field or it could be a text field but the idea here is to calculate the number of comments and uh, display it somewhere now for doing this what i will be doing i will uh, first write a script to fetch the comments. So right now we are looking at scrum 38 and uh, I have a script here uh, which is using the comment manager. So we have been talking about uh, component accessor quite a lot and using component accessor you can do a lot of wonderful things. So for this particular example I have a script here where using the comment manager you can use a method called get comments and then if you pass in the issue object which in this case is uh, hard coded in the script uh, with scrum 38 it will simply return the number of or not the number but the the comments all the comment objects now what i can also do is i can fetch the body maybe uh, and i'm using this star because i want to do this on the list of all the comments so i want this to iterate through all the comments all the list of comments and I just want to see the body now if I go to my Jira instance and if I go to script console I have a script here number of comments and I can run it and hopefully it will return me comment 1 comment 2 I can add maybe one more comment this this is my comment 3 and uh, if I run this it will give us one more comment which is good now this is fine we have a script working script that is doing something with the comments but we want to basically create a scripted field now for doing that you need to go to the fields and uh, you can create a script field if you click on the button then it will give you you know a few options but we want to create a custom script field um, where we will of course use our own comment so the field name is number of comments um, template is very important now for the time being let us just use uh, maybe I mean we can use HTML template where we can pass HTML or we can use uh, a text field where we have text a simple text or a st string so let us keep it as text field uh, but I wanted to tell you that if you are doing something with the uh, uh, the script and the script is returning users or number or maybe a version or a project you need to basically use the right type of template here uh, and also when you go to the field configuration searcher uh, you need to basically change the template over there as well uh, so you let us use the script here and I'll probably use my uh, IntelliJ I'll, I'll use a file tab and uh, I'll use number of comments now if I go to the scrum 38 and if I run this you can preview this is also good so it is returning something so this is how it will look like on the issue but we want to make it slightly better um, and we, we also want to add some error handling so I mean there might be a case when there is no issue so what we'll do we will uh, use uh, another method called uh, dot size simple method and uh, we may want to add some text here like 
I'll first create a variable. Define uh, field text, or rather, I should say, number of comments is equal to, and this should work. And we can now return it if we want to have this displayed. It might also work without return. Let us see. If I go back to my uh, issue, if I run this, so it says three, but I don't don't really want to display three. I want to display maybe number of comments three, which is anyways the case because the, the field name is also number of comments. So what I'll do, I'll change the template to um, something else, or maybe I'll just keep it as a text field because you may want to add some text around it but we can change it to number field for the time being uh, just to see how it works so it works now what i also want to do is i also want to add some error handling so what if we add not this screen yeah this one so some ran random number scrum 318 and by the way we will not use the comment uh, will not because right now we are using this for testing purpose and we can hard code it uh, or, or or I can also remove it for the time being because we are anyways previewing it using the uh, using the uh, script field preview option here and uh, it will only preview it will only fetch the comments that are uh, basically entered for this issue here which is the preview issue key now I can add something like 381 and let us see what will happen so it says issue current found but uh, uh it might work but what what about issues where you don't have any comment so it says zero which is fine so i think this is fine but i would rather i mean i prefer to add you know some conditions around it also to make sure don't because right now if you technically there is no error here but uh, just to be on a safer side uh, you can always uh, do something like uh, you can add a condition here uh, maybe define number of comments only run this when uh, issue exists so you can add either uh, either if or uh, something else maybe so if issue exists so l let us see how it works so for the time being if I just uh, try to run this so we are trying to basically fetch issue with key scrum 318 and if I run this now uh, it won't really uh, consider this preview issue key because we are overwriting it it will give you an error null pointer exception error which is expected so what you can do here is you can add a condition here issue if issue exists only then do it otherwise um, maybe you can display something like it's a number field so or maybe you don't need to do anything can we do this uh, maybe not so we need to basically return something if the condition fails um, issue doesn't exist and if I go back to the script if I preview it so it will say null uh, it is it is saying null because the template is number field if you select if you change it to text field and if you now do this it will say issue doesn't exist so I'll uh, probably change it to number field and uh, what you can also do here if you don't really, really want to return a text field like this you can do log dot debug I guess so that you have something you're not really displaying something uh, here but you will have some entry in the log if you run this it will get null because uh, it is a number template and it can't really display a text field but if you look at the log file you will have some um, information now this looks good what I will do here is now I will uh, now comment these two lines because I don't really want to I basically want this to have the issue picked 
when the script is run, which is always the case because when you run the script on issue view screen, it will basically fetch the current issue where it is applicable and uh, where it is used, the script is used and it will display the number of comments. And if you add this, you might it, it will ask you to basically set the searcher. So this is important because uh, you want this to match your uh, template. So if you click on update here, it should be okay. And uh, what I will do, I will also configure it on a screen so it can display somewhere. So I'll add it to all the screens. I don't really have a lot of projects. And if I go to my uh, Scrum 38, it will hopefully display something. If not, you can also uh, run the uh, Reindexing. So you, you can see here that we have this field number of comments. Of course, it's a calculated field. And uh, if you add maybe one more comment, comment four, add, and it will display number of comments. Um, so yeah, it's a simple way to display number of comments and uh, quite useful because you can do similar things when you're working with the script runner and you want to calculate some values. It is of course one simple example, but I hope you get the idea. And we'll, we'll continue looking at uh, more videos. Uh, I'll make more videos on this topic to create scripted fields. So I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.